Elder L. Tom Perry, Why Marriage and Family Matters. Last November, Elder L. Tom Perry, the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, attended with President Henry B. Eyring, First Counselor and the First Presidency of the Bishop Gerald Cosse of the Presiding Bishopric, a colloquium on marriage and the family at the Vatican in Rome, Italy. In his remarks during the Saturday morning session of General Conference on April 4th, Elder Perry spoke of the powerful scene of commonality and unity felt by various religious representatives in attendance, who numbered from among 14 different faiths in six of the seven continents. It was remarkable for me to see how marriage and the family-centered priorities cut across and superseded any political, economic, or religious differences. When it comes to love of spouse and hopes, worries and dreams for children, we are all the same, Elder Perry said with the majority of the faiths and religions agreeing on the value of the home and family relationships. Elder Perry said, Some may ask, how does the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints distinguish and differentiate itself from the rest of the world? The answer, Elder Perry said, is, we make it a subject of eternity. We take the commitment and the sanctity of marriage to a greater level because our belief and understanding is that families go back to before this earth was, and they can go forward into eternity. The theology of the restored gospel centers on families, explained Elder Perry, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we believe in a pre-mortal world. Life, where we all lived as literal spirit children of God, our eternal Father, we believe that we were, and still are, members of his family. Marriages performed under the proper authority in the temple will continue to be valid in the world to come, he added, we also believe that strong traditional families are not only the basic unit of a stable society, a stable economy, a stable culture of values, but they are also the basic units of eternity in the kingdom and government of God, Elder Perry said. Despite the media and entertainment industries depicting immorality and amorality as the norm, the, major kind, the majority of mankind, Elder Perry, said El Perry, believes marriage should be between one man and one woman. We need to remind ourselves once in a while, as we, remind, as we were reminded in Rome, of the wonderfully reassuring and comforting fact that marriage and family are still the aspiration and ideal for most people, and that we are not alone in those beliefs, El Perry said. He explained that it is the Church's belief in supporting and creating strong families that lead to participate in various ecumenical efforts in sharing family-focused values in the media, social media, sharing in genealogical extended family records. We want, to, we want our voice to be heard against all the counterfeit alternative lifestyles that try to replace the family organization that God himself established. We also want our voices to be heard in sustaining the joy and fulfillment that traditional families bring. We must continue to project that voice through the world declaring why and families are so important and why marriage and family really do matter and why they always will.